I could be a lot of things in this world, but one thing I can't be is a teacher. I think back about how I used to act in class, and I'm astonished that my teachers didn't beat the shit out of me with my own desk and put a mechanical pencil in my ocular cavity. When I would talk back to teachers, they'd just be like, hey, keep it up, I'll send you to the principal. But if I was a teacher and kids would talk back to me, I would shit on their life. Hello class, my name is this Mr. Class Santa Santa fucking Today we're gonna be sucks. about it. Who the fuck said that? Who the fuck said it? Who was it? You? Okay, great. Thank you. Great. That's good. Hey, thanks for wearing your football jersey to class so everyone knows that you're a big time fucking douchebag, alright? I can't wait to see how fat you get in college. I can't, that's gonna be one of my favorite things. You're gonna look at your yearbook like once a week like, What happened? I was the man. You suck. You can't talk to students like that. Fuck you and fuck you. Next person who talks, I'm gonna shit in your mouth. You can retweet that shit. I would be fired and arrested. Before lunch, no one would be able to cheat on my tests either because I know all the tricks. I know the one when you're like looking at someone's test and the teacher looks so you like look at the sky like, oh, okay. Cheater! Fucking cheating, I see you. I wasn't cheating, I was thinking. You were thinking bullshit, all right? Who the fuck thinks vertically? Who's, who's, hmm, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Fucking liar. Give me your fucking test, you're getting a zero. I would give everyone a zero that stared at the ceiling. I would keep it all the way real with my students. History, all right, look. A bunch of shit happened. We know that, okay? But our present day is so fucked up that maybe we should handle this before we hit the rewind button, huh? So fuck history. Science? F gravity, I don't fucking know. Is anyone here gonna be a scientist? No shot, the class average is like a C. So you guys are fucking, you're not doing this. Math, can you add? Can you subtract? Good, because that's all you'll fucking need. You're never gonna have to figure out how much you're gonna tip a waiter by using the Pythagorean theorem. So this is also horseshit. English, very overrated because we have autocorrect now, so just use that. I'm not gonna make you guys write essays in this class because I'm not gonna fucking read them. You think I'm gonna come in here every morning, work all day, then go home and read 30 essays about Abraham Lincoln? You're out of your goddamn mind. Can forget about this. Listen, math, English, history, it doesn't even matter. All right, if you can't form a sentence or add by now, then just give up. Grab your iPhone, make a vine, and hope for the best. Or better yet, make an Instagram account and just start posting memes that you find on the internet. I heard that works out for people. And I can't even imagine doing a parent-teacher conference. What the hell is the point of that? Do you really want me to tell you face-to-face -face at 8 p.m. that your son sucks at math? Just read the report card and help him. Are you seeing why I can never be a teacher? I'm just not built for that. I mean, I'm just being funny here, but I really just couldn't do it. I was just thinking about this because I know people are going back to school soon. By the way, if you are going back to school, then do yourself a favor and use slugbooks.com to buy your textbooks. It's the cheapest way to get your books because it compares prices of all the sites so you could save money, so you don't have to live off Hot Pockets and fucking ramen noodles. Sometimes your bookstore sells a book for $200. It's a... 200... It's a book! So if you want to save money on your books, then click on the link in the description and use slugbooks.com. You're welcome. And that's all for this week's video, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bro!